Hi, I'm Jeff Payne, and I'm a preventive maintenance instructor with Caterpillar. And I'd like to talk to you a little bit about uh, spin-on filters today. The uh, spin-on filter, um, we've all changed them. They're easy to do, right? But what uh, a lot of people don't realize on cat filters, all the filters have a different tightening sequence. And so when we put a new filter on, we want to lube the filter up. There's, a, there's actually a diagram on them here. And uh, I like to use the O-ring assembly lube that cat sells. It's uh, better than sticking my finger in the dirty filter I just took off and wiping on the seal. But uh, you'll, you'll bring the filter, you'll screw it on until it lightly touches the seal. And this particular filter right here says go one third of a turn after that. To uh, show you what I mean by that, if we look right up here at this filter, this one says oil the seal, bring it up hand tight until the seal touches, and then it goes five sixths of a turn. Now most cat filters, have lines on them. Some have numbers and some don't. You may wonder what those lines are for. Those are to help you tighten up the filter. This one, five six. if you come up and you've got three as your line when you come to the hand tight here, you'd want to go five numbers around. So you would bring it all the way around till you come to two, would be where you come around five six of a turn. This one down here on one third has lines spaced 120 degrees apart. So if you ended up on a on a two in this position, you'd bring it around until it said three. And uh, each of our filters has a different tightening sequence on it. The uh, oil filter right here on the back, um, you can't see it on this filter, but uh, where, it, where it is over on the back side here, it has one turn after contact. So you really need to uh, read your filters and see what they say before you tighten them up.